Hello guys, hope you are doing good. Let's discuss about several data pages that are introduced in Pega 7.4 version. Let's get started into the topic. So, several data pages concept is introduced to provide clarity and ease of editing or saving the business objects or work objects. And it mainly eliminates the dependency of activities for processing the data into database so that uh, the business logic can be separated from the processing task. So why uh, we need database? What are the advantages? First thing, Pega is recommending not to use activity. So only for doing OBJ save or for OBJ browse or OBJ delete. For these operations, you no need to go for the activities every time. Just if you define a data page, which is of saveable mode, that is very useful. And this particular database can be used everywhere as this uh, particular logic is consistent and data is committed as part of the work item after the assignment. So where to use this data page and uh, how we will be creating this data page. For example, you have a data type. Suppose I am picking this uh, environment data type. In this, if you see usage, you can see these are the three data pages that used to get created previously. Now we can see saveable data page also like you can see D underscore enrollment saveable. This is a saveable data page for this respect to data type. So for this saveable data page, it can, the structure can be page or page list. The mode should be of saveable. Now, so what is the source? Here, source can be of lookup, activity, whatever it is. But if you scroll down, you can see here, if there are multiple save options, you can see, you can configure it with the van rule as well. So here, there are two things which are widely used. One is database save and another is activity. Suppose if you want to do some um, post processing before you want to save it, you can do in this activity and if you give this local save it will be useful and if you have many other options like uh, for one scenario you want to use database save and for another scenario you want to use activity so you can play with a van rule and you can reuse the same data page now where this actually this sample data page is being called first thing first like uh, in a flow action, you can see post processing under sample data pages. You can click on add data page. Here, the main objective of giving an option over here is suppose you are filling an application form and you have selected like a customer is old and you want to do a lookup over there. And if you want to see a customer is new, then you want to do a save over there. So, normally, what we do, we go for an activity or a data transform and we do some post processing uh, over here and again we have to create uh, so many rules but here you can add how many databases you want and those databases should be of several data page so with when rule you can play around that and uh, there is no need of uh, defining this apply data transform or an activity specifically if that is only OBJ save or some lookup. And another place is inflow. Inflow under advanced shapes, sorry, under automations, you can see save data page. So here also you can give uh, the data page, uh, saveable data page. And not only that, uh, you can pass parameters as well. And another place is activity. If you scroll down, you can see save data page. In this way, you can invoke several data page from an activity. And you can give this right now option and data page name based on your requirement. So this is about several data page and where it is used and what are the users. In next video, we will see how we can implement it for different scenarios. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, share, like and comment.